combo with rxmuscle.com in the iron asylum with trey brewer we're here five weeks out from the 2009 npc nationals down here in smyrna georgia where we're about to do a little arm training with trey welcome Oh, good. I appreciate it. Glad to be on. <laughs> well, we're at Main Event Fitness here, uh, where you like to train. I hear they uh, they have the very heavy dumbbells here for you, huh? Yeah, the guy, uh, the owner's been real cool. He's made uh, dumbbells up to 200s, even a set of 275s for me. Um, so, you know, he's helped me out a little bit. <laughs> now, yeah, and we were talking about this uh, when I was down there. You know, these gyms seem to have gone very corporate, and uh, they don't want bodybuilders in there anymore, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of gyms around here, you know, the goal is L.A., even Worlds, they kicked out a lot of us for, you know, dropping weights or screaming and stuff like that. So, really, <laughs> it's kind of tough, you know, but it's not many gyms, you know, that cater to the bodybuilders anymore. Right. We're like an endangered species down here, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to do a little arm training. We're uh, five weeks out from the Nationals. Uh Let's talk a little bit about how you train arms because uh, you're a pretty much a, a basic type of uh, guy. You like to go with the basics, heavy movements. Uh, talk to me about um, how you set up your arm training. Um, usually we like to start with, I think we start with the easy bar curl, close grip. Right. Um, I, you know, we start with a, usually a you know, quarter, get a good pump, 10 to 15, and, of course, go up, you know, 10s. Uh, you know what I'm saying, 10 to 15 and try to rep out as much as we can. What are you uh, focusing on most when you're doing these easy curl bars? Because it looks like your technique is very strict. Yeah, I mean, what I've really been focusing on is just my peak this year. So we really try to squeeze, you know, with that close grip to really focus on that peak, uh, on the concentration on the biceps. I also notice when you when you bring that weight up, you you have ex a lot of explosive movement. It almost reminds you of the way Dorian used to train. Um, is, is that important uh, in in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I you know sometimes I gotta watch myself because I really do explode, and so I try to focus on you know exploding, but also controlling. You know, so I'm just not swinging, but I'm just trying to focus on uh, concentrating on that muscle. Now you just uh, recently turned 24 years old, correct? Yeah, just turned 24. You're getting old now, man. I know, man. It's been a long time. I thought I was just 20 the other day. That's right. You're not the, the 21 year old young guy in the block anymore. So, yeah, no. um, how much weight off season will you go up to on these easy curl bars usually? And um, is weight even a factor for you, or are you just really concentrating on technique? Yeah, I mean, within the last year, you know, I've really focused so much on weight now, but just really concentrating because, especially with my arms, that was one of my biggest parts I needed to improve on. And I just felt like the more control I was and, you know, I, I got a better workout and I got a better pump. Um, so that's where, you know, I just, like I said, trying to focus on so much of the weight, but just controlling it sure. and getting a good good workout. And who are you training with? I see you got a training partner here. Yeah, it's my buddy Jan. We've been training for probably about a year now, about after the last Nationals. What do you look for in a training partner? Like, well, what makes him a good training partner for you? Well, actually, with Jan, he, I was actually training him. Like, he came up to me and asked if I could start helping him, training him. And uh, I think he weighed probably, like, 170, 180 pounds. We just started training wow. it. I mean, he exploded. I mean, within the first six weeks, I mean, he put on 20 pounds and just and he's strong. You know what I mean? He's, I mean, he keeps up with me on a lot of stuff, you know, and, and he, he's there every day. You know, most partners, well, I found tough. You know, they're so inconsistent, you know what I mean? They, sure. You know, they're here this day or here that day, or hey, can we train earlier or this? And it's like, you know, I'm pretty strict about my schedule. I like, well, <laughs> you know, I like to do things at certain times. You know what I mean? You wouldn't so, even let us film you beyond if unless it was five o'clock. So yeah, you're you're very strict with your schedule. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty anal about my scheduling. So uh, you know, so he's there. You know, it, I mean, every day on time. You know what I mean? So we just we started training, man. He's been there every day since. I think he's only missed like one day. That's a good you know, training partner. That's a very yeah. good training partner. Right, we moved on to alternate dumbbell curls here, seated. Um, what do you like about these, the seated version as opposed to the standing? Um, I like the seated, and especially we do the one arm because I just I feel like it gets so much more of a stretch and a pull doing them seated like that. You know, I try not to sling it so much, but I just got so when I would all you know. I mean, I do different variations, but when I right. do the seated like that. I got so much of a better pump and a workout doing them like that. And why do you do one arm at a time? Uh, I just, 
you know, I, I used to do, you know, one and one and then this, and I just, I felt like doing that one, and then on the other one holding it, it just, I felt like it just put that strain on the muscle, uh, and it just gave me a better pump. Right, and you didn't, you didn't get as much rest in between, obviously, when you're alternating. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you're, from the look of the video here, and I, I saw you in person, it's very apparent that your arms came up a, a tremendous amount from last year. Uh, what do you, you attribute that mostly to, just, just really focusing on, on form? Yeah, definitely focused on form. Uh, in the off season, I do. I was doubling up on them too. You know, usually after you know chest day, we hit a couple triceps, and after back, hit a couple buys, and then come back at the end of the week and do a full arm workout when we were really you know blowing up. Right. Of course, now as contest kind of backed off a little bit, give me more rest and just focus on a full day of arms. Yeah. Um, but you know that was one of my you know main points, and I think I, I think I brought it up. Yeah, and one of the things I think also I like that you do is that your, your workouts a pretty brisk pace. You don't really rest too much, and and you're pretty much done in under an hour. Is that pretty much the, the, the case with all your body parts too? Yeah, I mean most most body parts, of course, legs and back sometimes might be an hour and a half. But right. you know, especially with the contest, I mean, you're already in the gym. You know, we're doing you know cardio, and then we're training, and your cardio back again. So it's like. I, I just don't, I don't have time and the energy to be sitting around, you know, <laughs> wasting, you know, so we sure. get in there, we hit it hard and I get home and I eat and I rest, you know, because that's where I'm going to recover the most. Right. Now you, we moved on to standing alternate hammer curls here where, uh, you, I, I remember this workout. I mean, you, you work up to a tremendous amount of weight here. Um, why do you think you're so strong in, uh, in hammer curls as opposed to the regular bicep one? Um, I don't know. I've always been stronger on hammers. Uh, just something I like to do, so we try to go a little heavier. You know, sometimes we sling a little bit, but uh, you know, I think that's okay, especially when you're handling 120s or 100s, whatever we were doing. I mean, it's yeah. kind of tough. You know, you don't want to pull anything to, you know, trying to be real strict. So I just, and you know, when we do these, I mean, like I said, the, just the pump we get and just uh, really kills the biceps. Now, um, talking about pump. Uh, I'm just looking at your your shirt. You're wearing the BSN shirt. Obviously, we all know you work for BSN. You've been with them a couple of years now. Um, what what, what pre workout um, type of supplement do you like to use best? I guess in their line for that you know pre workout pump because a lot of I know they have a few products. Uh, which ones do you use pre contest? Well, when uh, actually that day was the first day we try try the new the No Explode and also the Epozemo. Right, um, and so I think that's why that day. I mean, I was just your veins are crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, did yeah. you feel it? I mean, I definitely felt it. I, I think you can tell in the shots too. I mean, just like I said, the veins and everything was just exploding. So that was actually my first workout using the new products. And I, you know, as you can see, it made up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I forgot about that almost when we shot the video that you did use for the first time both products. Uh, yeah. they're, they're new, and and you could de- you look know, you could definitely see the veins popping out of control on your arms. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, that was like you know I just got the packets in the day before. And uh, so it's kind of good timing, you know. So it, you know, definitely made an improvement. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty sick watching you do these one twenties here and then these hammer curls. I mean, uh, you know, we have a bicep contest of our own going on on RX Muscle between Jeff, the producer, and Mike Libertori. I think we may have to get you in as the uh, to, to face <laughs> off against the winner. I mean, this is pretty impressive. Um, uh. <laughs> do, do you notice that it, it helps you with other lifts too uh, when you when you really build up those brachialis muscles, brachioradialis muscles, doing those heavy hammers? Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely, you know, with doing them heavy, like I said, you know, you, you know, the joints and everything become stronger too. So, you know, whatever you're going to incorporate is always going to help yeah. out. I bet it helps you also ca- bring those uh, heavy dumbbells off the ground when you're doing uh, bench pressing, you know, uh, dumbbell presses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, more you lifting them up and, you know, like I said, it takes a toll, but it also helps out, you know, with the joints and ligaments and so. stuff. Now, you know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, in this town here, you're like the uh, the hero there. Everyone knows you. You know, you're pretty well known, even at only age 24. How does that feel? Uh, I mean, it definitely feels good, you know what I mean? It's like everywhere we go, we, you know, people treat us good. You know, restaurants and everything, we usually get taken care of. But, you know, I, I just, but I'm also a humble guy, so people know that, you know, like I said, we know everywhere we go, we just, you know, have a good time and everything, so it's always fun. Yeah, and you're very respectful to these people, too. I noticed uh, hanging out with you the whole weekend, so people seem to really like you a lot. Uh, talk to me about, um, uh, as far as arm development goes, uh, are you happy with your arms now, or or you, or you can never have big enough arms? Um, I mean, 
I, I'm happy with my arms, but I think I still think my peak, you know, can could be a little better. And I think that's why we do so many like concentration stuffs right now. You know, I think we did like three. You know, we even we did the hammer or the one arm, and then we finished off with cables and yeah, all just, those basic concentration. You know, and I, I think my peak could just you know be a little bit better. Right. You know? Do you think that's genetic? Do you think it's, it's hard work will improve that? I mean, I think it's both. You know, I think you know sometimes genetics plays you know plays a part too. But I think you know you can do certain exercises to help it. You know, bring it out a little better. You know, now this year you look like the old Trey Brewer. You know, a lot more. I and mean, I told people that you you put on a tremendous amount of size. Um, it, do you think last year when, when you, you kind of abandoned that strategy of, of continuing to train heavy and, and you and you lost some of that freak factor that, that seems to be back now? Yeah, I mean, last year we tried did some different type of training with a lot of reps. You know, you know sometimes fifty reps, this and that, and I just. I don't know. That was tough, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we went back to training hard, sticking to, you know, the heavy rep. I mean, heavy, you know, heavy weight. Basically, still controlling, you know. And I just, I think I, I still, I grew more, you know. Mm -hmm. right. um, well, we're moving on to triceps here now. Um, you start with some pretty heavy push downs here. Is, is this your favorite exercise? Yeah, I think that this is definitely my favorite exercise. The triceps. We usually do these first to get a good pump and blow them up. Um, before we move on, it definitely definitely makes a difference. What, where do you feel this this exercise most, and what what part of your tricep? Um, I mean, we try to you know stay pretty close. So I think really you know that that when then we well, of course when we bring it down, we try to pop it at the end. So I think definitely I think it definitely hits both heads. You know, yeah, especially when true. you're popping it. You know. Yeah, and, you know, I think a lot of people also don't realize that it's that really you got to watch. You know, you to train to see uh, what I'm talking about when I talk about that explosion. When you know you you control the way down the negative, and then you really explode up. And, and like I said, it really reminds me a lot of how Dorian trained. And I have to believe that a lot of your mass is is from that that explosive movement that yeah. you have. Well, that's like when I went out and trained with Hani. Uh, he was like, dude, you you know, he's like, <laughs> you got a lot of explosion. You got to try to control that, you know. So that's a I've always worked on that too, trying right. to control it too, because he's like, man, you just, your explosion is crazy. You just got to try to control it. Is that from your football years? You think, uh, you know, because that that's I mean, the way yeah, football players play. You know, yeah, I definitely think so. Because you know, especially playing fullback, man, everything was explosive. You know right, what I mean? Right. So that, that's how it think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were uh, we did some kickbacks just now, uh, and then we're moving on to some close bench pressing. Um, what do you like about this one? A lot of people use clo do close benches first. You seem to do them at the toward the end, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think like I said, we get a good blowout, and so right now, or, you know, feeling it pretty good, and then we go to close grip, and I just I, we, you know we feel like cause we've done them in the first, you know, first before in the beginning, but I think here, you know, we're pretty much fried, so it just keeps them. I don't know. It just keeps them training harder, you know. Kind of like a pre-exhaust, you do. Exactly. And I guess also you don't have to go quite as heavy and risk injury as well. So yeah, we I mean we do them on the Smith machine a little more, so because like I said, the risk of injury. Uh, we try them on flat, but sometimes it just you know feel it feel it right. too much in shoulders or right. you know something like that. Well, I notice you don't go all the way up with the weight. Is is, is do you kind of just stay in the in the region where you're feeling it in your triceps? Is that yeah, the reason? Yeah, I just try to try to keep that constant tension on it. You know, coming down and you know going, you know, three fourths up. You mm -hmm. know, okay, that makes sense. Now we moved on to a, uh, a kind of a dip machine you got here, which I kind of is kind of cool. Uh, it kind of simulates the old putting the two benches together and and, and, and straddling those. Uh, what yeah. do you like about dips per se, and why do you like to end with them? Um, I like to end with them because usually we do a little burnout where most exercises, you know, I think we we're doing like ten reps. Well, here we try to just burn out sometimes doing 15 to 20 so doing this machine right here you know we're able to do more and so basically it's just the last little burnout because this will be our last exercise so gotcha. we try to you know give it all we got <laughs> you're just doing a little uh, i made you do a little leg posing there and uh and just to make sure that everyone knows you still got legs and you know your legs are looking as big and, as, and freaky as ever uh okay. I, I assume you we're going to see a little leg training a little later in the week but uh, i'm assuming that you're back to training very heavy as well on that Oh, oh, definitely, definitely. You'll see in our leg videos, you know, we're still still pounding it. Um, how much rest do you like to take between sets? Because obviously we're not filming all your rest in between here. Just give give people an idea of what you usually wait between sets before hitting, you know, the next one. 
I mean, tell you the truth, I mean, I'll go, my partner goes, and as soon as he goes, I mean, we're really jumping back in. So you're talking about 30 seconds maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes it depends on, you know, maybe like on hammers when we're going a little bit heavier, it might be a little longer, but, you know, if, if we're popping them out, we're popping them out, you know. So, you know, sometimes, if, you know, a, a heavier, more exercise might be a little longer, but, I mean, we don't really count the rest. But, like I said, usually I'll go, my partner goes, and I'm pretty much – you know, we're going again. Well, that sounds uh, like like the right plan because your arms are looking pretty freaky. We're out of time right now, so Trey, I just want to say thanks for the arm workout, and we're going to see you a little later this week uh, with a couple more body parts. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo with Trey Brewer in the Iron Asylum.